and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about the most essential part of your iPad or iPhone and that is of course the App Store. If you are not able to download any apps on your device, yeah well then there is not really much you can use it for besides for browsing in your Safari browser. So here are some tips and tricks if you have problems with your app store and how you can try to solve them yourself. So first of all, it is always a good idea to go into Apple's system status page on their website. And in here you see all the different services that Apple has for their devices. And here you will be able to find the app store service and you can check if it's up and running and is available as it should be. So uh, go in and find the system status page. And then one of my always good uh, recommendation for a device not working is of course to try and restart your device. Simply pull to the side and turn off your device and then afterwards lock back into your device and try to update, install or whatever from your app store as you are trying to do. So please restart your device and see if everything is working. Next thing that you need to check is the time and date. And uh, here you have to go into your settings, go into your general section and under here you have the date and time. And in here you have different options. Normally it is set to automatically get the date and time, but some actually sets the manually date and time. And there you need to check if the date and time is correct. And uh, also make sure to check your time zone and see if everything is set for that specific location you are in and see if, if everything is up and running as expected. So check your date and time. Sometimes when you contact a service at Apple, it actually checks that it is in the right time and date that you are retrieving the information from. So check your time and date. Next thing up is of course to make sure that you are connected to a Wi-Fi or whatever that has internet connection. So go into your Wi-Fi settings and see if everything is connected as it should. If not, then try to turn off and turn it on again and see if it is connected again. So make sure your Wi-Fi is up and running and is connected. One thing you have to be when you are working with the App Store is that you have to be signed in with your Apple ID and sometimes that can actually go wrong. So in your settings page, you go into your profile and in here you have a setting or a section called media and persuasives and uh, just simply click on that one. You get a small pop up and here you can view your account. You can password settings, but the first option is to simply sign out. So my advice is to Click the sign out. It will you sign you out of uh, this section, not the whole iPad, but just the uh, uh, App Store section. And afterwards, you simply just sign in again and see if your App Store is up and running again. So sign out, sign in, and see if, if everything is working again. One other thing is to have a look at your payment and shipping settings. So click that one, it will take a few seconds. And in here you can see what you have set up. And for most uh, users, they have a credit card uh, added to their payments and uh, make sure that you have a credit card added. And of course, check if the credit card has expired, for example, that could be a reason. If it is expired, then remove this one and add another one. So just simply make sure that your payment method is okay and is valid. Then we have the iOS. So let's go down to the 
general section again. And the second one is the software update. Click that one and the system will check if your iOS is up to date. And as you can see here, I have actually two options for uh, iOS updates. There is the latest version I can update to, but I also have uh, at the button, uh, I can upgrade to the next major version of the iOS, which is the 17 version. So I actually have two things that I need to consider if I want to update for. So make sure your iOS is up to date. That can have a huge impact on your App Store problems. One last thing that I have for you today is to go into the channel and to make sure that your iPad or iPhone actually have storage left for downloads. So go into storage and in here you will get an overview of how much space you have used and how much is left for downloads. And as you can see here, I have 10 gigabytes of data available. So that is plenty for doing updates to uh, new apps or installing new apps. So make sure your device has free space so it is able to download some data for updating your apps. One of the things you of course can have a look at is if you are able to offload unused apps, that is always an option, or you can actually review the downloaded videos and maybe get rid of some of those videos that is not really used anymore or is old and not really something you want to keep on your device. So make sure that you have storage available on your device. So these are the tips and tricks that you can go through and I hope that uh, you found something useful for your App Store problem. If you have any questions or comments then please put it in the sections below this video. If you have a good success with some of the tips then give me a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel for new help videos coming out soon. Have a nice day and see you soon.